If you've been watching my sneakers to riches web series, then you'd know that botting isn't as easy as most people think it is. Even with some of the best bots, proxies, servers, etc., purchasing hype and limited sneakers and streetwear is still very difficult. But for some reason, there are a few people who have a magic touch and is able to cop from seemingly every single release, oftentimes even multiples. I know and talk with a lot of people who are resellers and there are only about 4 of them that really stand out to me as being unbelievably good at copying limited items. Today, Nick, one of the 4 people, will be joining us to give us an inside scoop at how he does it. If you are a botter and you are curious about the botting setup of a certified cook god, this is a video that you don't want to miss. This video is sponsored by Hypewave. Hypewave is a cook group specialized for bot users. It's not too often that the owner of a cook group is a cook god themselves. With Nick as the owner and leading by example, he and his team will provide you with the proper information, access to resources, and most importantly, the bot setups that's been working for them to help their members take Ws. The Travis Scott Jordan 1 is a top contender for one of the most hype sneaker releases of 2019. Countless of botters, including myself, were having trouble securing even a single pair because not only was this super limited, but the demand for this shoe was insane. The resale price for this as of right now is hovering between $900 to $1300. If you're a reseller and you were able to get your hands on even one of these, you would have had a nice payday and maybe even more if you decide to hold on to them if they go up in the future. Well, for Nick's case, he was able to get over 20 checkouts all by himself, and he is going to be sharing with us today how he did it. Hey YouTube, thanks Nova for the opportunity to be featured on the video. As most of you know by now, Shopify has implemented a new bot protection system that's been pretty successful over the course of the past few weeks. This is where your setup becomes crucial. There are many factors to account for in order to be consistent every drop. These variables include proxies, servers, bots, delays, profiles, and more. In this recap, I will cover my setup I use every drop. The only proxies I use are Fatal Chicago Data Center proxies and nothing else. I usually have 2-4 proxies per task. Any stable Chicago server provider will work to use with Fatal proxies. I usually run 2-5 to five servers depending on the release. Bots. This is a big factor on Shopify nowadays. The more bots you run, the better your odds are on hitting. I personally run Cybersoul, Project Destroyer, The Kickstation, and Balco as my main bots. Balco has been my go-to recently due to their adaptation to Shopify's changes. Some drops, every bot I run hits, other drops, one or two bot hits. They're all relative on the fact that Shopify is changing constantly. Delays. I first caught on to how crucial hard delays are on the first shock Travis Jordan 1 release. I saw that with a delay lower than a thousand, tasks would get stuck which is now known as Shopify proxy throttling. I then increased my delay to 2500 on both Cybersoul and the Kickstation, where I was able to hit 20 plus out of the 100 or so stock they had loaded. Overall, everything I know now is from experience over the past few years and studying the changes sites are making. All this info I find is made available to my members to alert them of the changes and to set up properly. Thank you very much Nick for those insights. I will personally keep some of that information in mind for the future releases and if you're watching this, you should definitely give it a try. Now, if you're a beginner, it's not likely that you will have access to several bots, several servers, and hundreds of proxies. For those of you guys who are just starting out, I personally don't recommend that you go out there and start dropping thousands of dollars on bots and providers with the expectation of copying 20 pairs from every hype sneaker release. You can certainly still make decent profits on a smaller scale using only one or two bots and I don't recommend that you heavily increase your budget as far as resources invested into your setup until you get a really good intuitive and technical understanding of how botting works, most of which will come from trial and error by going for hype releases. Now, this is a setup that has worked for Nick, and it might even work for some of you guys that try this. But one thing to note is that websites will always try to adapt to various botting techniques and methods. Major changes to the Shopify platform can make this entire video obsolete. So for future releases, if you want to maximize your chances of taking Ws and adapting quickly to the botting landscape with the help of experts like Nick and his team, I highly recommend checking out Hypewave. Hypewave is a cook group specialized for bot users, and these guys can help you with exclusive release information, technical support, and optimal bot setups to help you get those Ws. 
they will restock memberships on June 16 via my Twitter page at Boy Nova. Membership spots are very limited, so if you want to join, be fast, be ready, and may the luck gods be on your side. If you want to join but you tend to be forgetful like me, pause this video right now and make a reminder on your phone so that you don't miss out. I've promoted other groups in the past, all of which are very helpful and very special in their own way. And some of you guys ended up joining those groups alongside with me for help, guidance, and information for copying limited releases. And a good amount of people who decided to make that decision have been successful since then. But I'd like to remind people to try to keep their operating costs low. I don't recommend staying in more than three to four groups at a time. Even one or two groups is good enough, unless you feel that paying for all of them is justified. I want to help you make money, not lose money. Each individual person has different needs and circumstances as far as reselling, so I recommend that you only stay in the groups that you find the most valuable to keep your operating costs low and maximize your profit margins. I hope you were able to learn something new from this video and if you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter for further updates. Good luck and have a wonderful rest of your day.